by saying those things we're declaring plainly what we seek to be in the Holy Ghost God is God the in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 14 for they that say such things say say such things declare plainly that they seek a country so they're saying such things and they're declaring plainly twice in this one verse he talks about saying something and declaring something yes. are you here yep. so really you're not seeking that country too much if you're not saying or declaring plainly are you yep. country kingdom some translations put kingdom in there i'm going to be talking about a society because that's really what it is a group of people all doing the same thing right you can yes. classify it as a country classify it as a kingdom you could say the kingdom of god mm -hmm. right yes. but i'll use the word society because it speaks a little something different and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out mm -hmm. say they had to come out they had to come out they had to come out of one and move towards another verse 16 but now they desire a better country a better society a better kingdom say a better one, a better one. sometimes you have to come out from one to go to a better one yes. last week I talked about how much better it is to be a Holy Ghost worshiper than to not mm -hmm. it's better things work better it's more effective it's more scriptural so they that say such things we as Holy Ghost worshipers are sayers of things did you know that yes we are sayers of things and by saying those things listen by saying those things we're declaring plainly what we seek to be in yes. that country that society that group that's separate from another country or another society mm -hmm. or another kingdom are you here yeah. saying things and declaring plainly is what removes you from one and puts you in another one mm -hmm. did you get that yeah. if you're not saying the right thing you can't go in because it's by saying and declaring plainly mm -hmm. that you enter can we see this mm -hmm. and it's better when you get it this way it's better mm -hmm. well I say and declare that this is better it's not like it used to be and I'm not saying that the things I used to do and be in, be involved in weren't good I'm not saying that I'm saying this is better mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is well here we talk about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and if you are going to come to him you must believe that he is we got here because of what Jesus said and did by sending the Holy Ghost to be with us in the earth yes. that's how we've come to this belief that he is exists and is in the earth is the Holy Ghost is he yes, yes. he is is he in the earth yes he is do you believe that yes well then you're pleasing God because here it says without faith it's impossible to please him he that comes to God that's you must believe that he is mm -hmm. and that's it right yeah. what about the rest of this and that he is both of those things 
is god is in the earth and that he is a rewarder of those those who diligently seek him so we're believing he is god in the earth today and we are believing that he is say is is, is rewarding us through our belief but it also says those who diligently seek him we just read a verse that said the seeking had to do with speaking things and declaring plainly mm -hmm. and if you don't speak the things and declare plainly the right things mm -hmm. then you don't get the reward of speaking and declaring those right things when you believe that he the holy ghost is god and that he's in the earth and that he's rewarding you and that's it that's what we believe that's our present circumstance that's who you are that's where you are get rid of all the other stuff that's who say that's who i am that's who i am that's where i am you're with the holy ghost he's the only god in the earth today and he's rewarding you when you diligently speak his things it's simple mm -hmm. it's easy it's effective in a way that all those other things that we used to do were not mm -hmm. this is better declaring plainly and seeking by speaking is better it causes you listen it causes you to enter into a better situation a better society a better place than you were before mm -hmm. is this making sense yes can you testify to it mm -hmm. i am mm -hmm. well i have a dream it's not the martin luther king speech here <laughs> i have a dream i have a vision of a society of people of people who worship the holy ghost as god and walk with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word it's different it's not what we used to do and by doing that it puts us into a different group of people a different society does this make sense yes. romans 14 and verse 17 for the kingdom of god god who holy ghost the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink but righteousness peace and joy where in the holy, in ghost. The holy ghost where's the kingdom of god where's the society of god where's the righteousness joy and peace of god in the holy ghost who's a person yes. so this society that we speak of is in him did i read that yes. did you see that the kingdom of god is in him in the holy ghost righteousness happens to be the righteousness of faith mm -hmm. and the righteousness of faith speaks mm -hmm. so we have to be speaking in him mm -hmm. kingdom of god society of god holy ghost society it's a society of god who's in the earth where's the holy ghost this society is in him so it's a society of people in the holy ghost so it's a society in the earth yes. are you here yes. and he is the lord of spirits and i worship you holy ghost say i worship you holy ghost most people most churches most societies do not know him as the lord of spirits they don't know him as the spirit lord they don't know him as god in the earth today and therefore they don't worship him my point is this is new worshiping him is new this is not what we did before stay with me this is not what we did before and if we're doing something that we didn't do before then this is new yes. we're we're using words we're speaking plainly declaring plainly words that take us into a place that we weren't before mm -hmm. 
i wish i could shake this into people i testify to the fact i was a pretty good believer before but worshiping him using the word specifically i worship you holy ghost has put me into a different place a different society you could say a different room mm -hmm. that i wasn't in before mm -hmm. this is new this is not what we did before preachers who talk about the holy ghost because not everybody does and god bless them for talking about the holy ghost But they'll talk about we need to follow the Holy Ghost we need to be led by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. we need to give place to the Holy Ghost we need to allow the gifts of the Spirit to enter into our services and all this all these things are good don't say I'm not saying it's good but almost every one of them stops when it comes to we must worship the Holy Ghost they wouldn't go through that door it's like Kenneth Hagin used to say it's like a cow at a new gate I'm not going through that you go first I've gone first I'm telling you God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him you can't come all the way up to the door and not go through it he's either God or he isn't mm -hmm. you not worshiping him is tantamount to saying he's not God mm -hmm. if you really believed he was God you would open your mouth and say I worship you Holy Ghost I'm simply saying fact until you acknowledge him because we talk about acknowledging him until we acknowledge him as God by worshiping him you can't come through this door and you don't really know what I'm talking about how do you know I was you I did all of those other things I was a Holy Ghost guy but I came through this door and it's different over here that's my point I'm trying to tell you this is new this is different I declare such things and I speak them plainly well I'm going there where into that place where someone becomes a Holy Ghost worshiper see now it's something it's some, something that happens to you no, you didn't worship the Holy Ghost before but then you started worshiping him I worship you Holy Ghost what happened to you you became a Holy Ghost worshiper That's right. something you weren't before mm -hmm. in a group in a society of people who are doing something that everybody else isn't doing yeah. well I'm going there I have gone there and I'm inviting you to go with me a society I have so many things I wish I could get over to you and hopefully we will as we go on here but it is literally a whole society in this place Holy Ghost worshipers there's a singularity I say such things I declare them plainly these words are your entrance I worship you Holy Ghost use the words I worship you Holy Ghost use of those words gains you entrance into this society you have become a Holy Ghost worshiper and every time I think that I should maybe back off of this message I hear the Holy Ghost say declare more plainly I feel like I'm quite plain most of the time declare more plainly we speak these things and we declare them plainly well we declare them more plainly so you can't miss it I paid the price through diligence and obedience to get you these words I worship you Holy Ghost now they're given to you freely to use mm -hmm. and if you use them they will gain you entrance into this society that you weren't in before you want increase you want great increase you want expansion it's all in this room 
things expand precipitously on the other side of that door mm -hmm. when you begin worshiping him as God in the earth today yes. you have to first begin with the foundation and your entrance into this society is use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost and then speaking in agreement with his words mm -hmm. that's how you expand that's how you move forward mm -hmm. that's how you progress I wish you just tell me how, how I could increase and progress I just did you have to train yourself you have to acclimate yourself to this space to this room because your mind will throw a tantrum and throw fits to try to keep you out you come up with every excuse you can possibly think of no we're not supposed to worship the Holy Ghost nobody worships the Holy Ghost well you're wrong I do see but you're looking at someone who has wrestled with all of those doubts and scripturally answered all of those doubts to where they don't bother me anymore I just stand here clean and free as a Holy Ghost worshiper I know how I got here and then you have to acclimate yourself into this space because it seems weird at first mm -hmm. does it not yeah. but as you've entered and worship him and speak his words he will bring you into more but I warn you however that when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I warn you that if you continue down this road and I wrote I said up this road because it's really not a down road it's an up road by saying such things as I worship you Holy Ghost are you here yes. if you continue down or up this road Jesus will leave you your concept of Jesus will leave you Jesus will leave you is this fun yet yeah. I get to say this stuff <laughs> Jesus will leave you and return to his proper and rightful place at the Father's right hand in heaven Amen. from whence he shall return can you see how this is important yes. he has to leave you in order to return yes. sometimes you just got to say things and you got to say them you got to declare these things plainly am I being plain enough yes. I mean Jesus will leave you is pretty plain yes. really it's the concept that you had of Jesus mm -hmm. that leaves you but he goes and then he's now in his the place he's supposed to be yes. at the father's right hand and from there say from there, from there. he can return, he can return. Amen. Yes. well I'm the only one preaching Jesus shall return mm -hmm. no I heard a message about you know the coming of Jesus no I'm the only one preaching Jesus shall return everyone else is preaching Jesus is here with you mm -hmm. those who are with me as a Holy Ghost worshiper know exactly what I'm talking about mm -hmm. when you think of me think Jesus left him <laughs> when you think of me think Jesus left him and and sent another Amen. Jesus left me and sent another he didn't leave me comfortless no. he sent the comforter right. yes. but he left me so when you look at me think Jesus left him mm -hmm. and sent another that's me am I explaining this okay yeah. I'm trying to be plain he walks with the another as God in the earth that's me yep. point at me and say Jesus left him Jesus Jesus left left him. him. and sent another, and sent another. He, walks with the another. he walks with the another 
as God in the earth today I walk with the another the another that Jesus sent to be with me not another Jesus there is no other Jesus there's only one Jesus and he's at the Father's right hand and he sent another to be with me the another is the Holy Ghost yes. this is plain this is clear if you get it straight it'll it'll just it'll revolutionize your life yeah. and you will worship him Amen. I speak these things <laughs> and I speak them plainly Amen. the Holy Ghost says my house is built out of words new technologies destroy the old technologies did you know about that yes you know how you were you know you're out when you were a kid you're using smoke signals now you don't remember that well some technology superseded that and you no longer do that anymore do you no or when the morse code did did it did it did it did it you remember that when you were a kid and trying to send a message no you didn't remember that either why because a phone came along and superseded that most people don't even have landlines anymore Do you remember picking up the phone and be your neighbor on it already because y'all had party line I think that was standard years ago everybody had a party line what are they talking about and they need to hang up quietly but new technology that's my point a new technology came along and superseded it and it made the old defunct I can't remember the last time I tried to send a message with Morse code I forgot even how to send smoke signals <laughs> you know the only message we would get out of that a smoke signal is like there's a fire over there <laughs> we wouldn't even know what they were saying well the new technology destroys the old it supersedes it it's better yes. that's why you go to it mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost only supersedes all of the other stuff and it puts you as a Holy Ghost worshiper who walks with God in the earth today yeah. by speaking his words yes. am I being plain enough mm -hmm. well as the ark was in the days of Noah so shall my words be that go forth out of your mouth those words shall lift you up and put you in a place that you weren't before a place protected from the evils and the times of this world above all the problems and give you a desired end I helped Noah build his ark in his day I will help you build yours in your day he used wood you use words in Noah's day a boat was new technology and it saved him from all the problems going on in the earth in that time so it is in our day walking with the Holy Ghost speaking his words lifts us up above all of those other things that new technology was necessary for Noah to succeed this new technology is necessary for us to succeed new words are necessary to go to new places I hope I got there I was trying to be as clear as I can be mm -hmm. you can't get there without the new words right. the new words are I worship you Holy Ghost they put you in a place that you weren't before yeah. a place protected a place successful a place where your other words that you speak function properly there is a new society of people who've entered in by worshiping the Holy Ghost as God they've entered in and they walk with him in the earth by speaking his words somebody has to go in first I'm going in say I'm going in, I'm going in. and I shall be, I shall be. A, first a first partaker of the fruit thereof thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people and sealing this message to them they shall never be the same says the Spirit Lord as they begin to raise their voice and worship me I shall deliver them from the things of the past 
and they shall be a new vessel Amen. one that i can walk in and show myself strong in and my words shall be effectual on your lips in a way they could not be before we thank you holy ghost for it in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. you are the living God and I worship you I bring my tithes and offerings and they are pleasing unto you you are a wealthy God and I walk with you in your wealth in this day in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven at his right hand Holy Ghost your God